Hello, good morning, and welcome to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. Today we have, yeah, some updates to do. We're heading, it's, it's currently 7.15 in the morning, heading to drop off our Tesla Model 3 at Tesla service. I think you and I will hop in the iX. Are you gonna take the Tesla? I don't want to. You don't want to, why? Because it's loud. What's loud about it? Oh, we'll just keep air conditioning off. Then there's no noise. Yeah. So we have some issues with the Model 3, which I'll go through. Alyssa, it only works on the driver's side. And <laughs> it's early. Early. And uh, yeah, it's not like we've owned Model 3s for the last five years. <laughs> and uh, yep, going to jump in the iX. Then we're going to go tell you all about our Model S Plaid situation. What's going on with that? And then... We're gonna go by the local Electrify America station, which has just recently started construction, ripping out an older AVB installation and putting in their newer hardware. And I promised you guys some updates here on this channel from uh, from our Out of Spec Reviews channel. So here we go. We got a lot of stuff to do early in the morning. What you looking at, Alyssa? You just staring at me. I'm zoned out. She's zoned out, okay. It's early. Our appointment is, we're already 17 minutes late. And it takes 20 minutes to get there. And they charge you $100 if you want to move it now. How about that for service? Yeah. Not yeah, not surprised. Let's go. All right. Well, there's a lot to do with the Model 3. The, the reason it's going in for service is because there's a crazy loud fan noise going on up here. I think the bearing, it, the fan came off. It's bearing the cooling fan. So basically, you got to run windows down. Don't put climate control on at all. I put my heated seat on. Yeah, but it turns climate on. So shut climate off immediately. Yep. So you can control your heated seat from the app on your phone without turning climate on is how you'll have to do it. That's a little pro tip for you. Oh, but now the fans are kicking on, Alyssa. Nope. Don't touch it. You just turned it back on again. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So it's really when the big radiator fan kicks on. There's a couple fans up there and one has come off its mount. We also want to get make sure that this car can level two charge because last time I tried it was not possible and then when we get this car back from those two fixes oh we're also going to have them replace the windshield when we get the car back from all of that we're going to swap on the Martian wheels and then Timon and I will install the full suspension upgrade kit we have a full mountain pass performance comfort coil over with a lift going on this car every suspension accessory they sell for model three pretty much we are going to overhaul this thing so we got to get this crack in the glass replaced basically this car needs an overhaul over the next few days and so that's what's going to go on we're also going to ask them to replace the cabin air filter as Alyssa is reminding me so let's jump in the ix and uh, we'll basically be the chase car to pick up Alyssa after dropping her off in we go we also have to do a starbucks run but i want to get the tesla dropped off Ooh, nice, 44%, almost no phantom drain in iX. It always just starts up with the same amount of percentage that I leave it with. I wanna say very similar to the BMW i3 that we had. This one, we can do climate control and I'm gonna go heated seat, even though it's 64 degrees out. So there goes Alyssa heading to the Tesla Loveland Service Center. I'm following behind. Off we go then. I can't wait to get that Model 3 back in running order. Uh, we hadn't been driving it too much because of some suspension issues. I then ordered the whole Mountain Pass performance kit. After we got that kit in, yeah, just the major noises from the fan up front. We made a whole video about it. And so now is the day where it goes in. And um, basically a friend of mine is planning to come pick it up and borrow it on Saturday. And he's gonna take it all across Canada, back to Florida and we're gonna really pile the miles on it. So my goal is to get this thing perfect within the next few days. It's really gonna be up to how quickly Tesla service can get all that stuff done. If they have to order parts and wait for them to come in, I think Saturday is unrealistic. And now you join us in Loveland, Colorado, heading over to the Tesla service center. And there it is. Uh, there's a couple things I wanna try. I wanna make sure that the car can level two charge. So I'm gonna ask Alyssa to pull up to the destination chargers up front and just make sure that she can level two charge that thing. And cool looking dog over there. So let's pull on in here. My Model S is actually here as well. So both Teslas will be here at Tesla in London, uh, London, Loveland. And uh, yeah, let's, let's park right here for now do, 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 do. and then let's see if we can get the tesla charging 
on the destination charger. And there we go, dropping off the Model 3. Just went through the list of stuff to ask for. We asked for a new windshield. We asked for them to look into the charging issue where it stops after 20 minutes to see if it's, if, if they can replicate it or not. The car's going on a road trip with my friend Dominic, so it'll primarily be supercharging. And then we also asked for that really loud, crazy fan noise to get fixed. That's the primary reason that it's here. As soon as we get it back, Timon and I will be installing all of the Mountain Pass performance gear. We cannot find a shop locally with availability to install all the suspension in time, so he and I are doing doing it all ourselves, which will be a fun project. But since we're down in Loveland, let's run by the Electrify America charging station, see the progress, Starbucks, and then I gotta go back home because we're getting the new Range Rover dropped off for review. The, and I'm really excited because I'm a Range Rover nerd and uh, can't wait to do old versus new. All right, well, here we go. We're just going down the road, which shouldn't take very long, but we do need to figure out. So we need to go left. We can't go left. So we got to go across the street into B mode for one pedal driving, rear steer, great turning radius on this car. Don't you think, Alyssa? Yeah, it's neat. Yeah, if this is the first video you're seeing with the iX. This is the iX M60 just a car we're testing and um yeah can't wait for the new range rover to get dropped off because we're gonna do judy versus the new one oh, judy can't even move well that's okay she's representing what range rovers are okay. meant to do <laughs> <laughs> i'd say that's we're an gonna average do a, a driving comparison judy really? can't move judy typical range rover new one wow surprise it actually works this bee is like trying to sting the ix maverick so, uh, all right, off we go to the Electrify America station. We'll be there in 10 minutes, 3.8 miles, and we have 40% state of charge. I doubt they'll have the new stations in. Oh, God, no. Yeah, so we won't be able to charge this thing up. We also don't have home charging, but we just have charging at the office, which is the slowest charging on the planet. It's six kilowatts, and it's closer to five than six. And I really hate the steering wheel. Things are just not too hot over here. No, I think they're good. They're great. Yeah, everything's getting back into order. The Model S is there getting fixed, waiting for parts. The Model 3 is there. I guess we should mention what the heck's going on with our Model S. You yeah, wanna... what, what is going on? Yeah, so, you know, last, last update video we put on out-of-spec reviews, we couldn't find the car, and we were driving all around Loveland, and, you know, we were told it was at a body shop, and and no one really knew where it was. And then um, Alyssa and I called Tesla yesterday and they're like, we will not transfer you to Tesla Loveland. <laughs> it was like their corporate call center or something. Wouldn't you say Alyssa? Wasn't that what happened? Yeah, well I thought it was the sales guy that was, it was just getting transferred over to sales. There was no way for them to transfer us to service. No, there was, they just wouldn't answer. Oh, Yeah. didn't realize you were on the phone. So anyway, we couldn't get anyone on the phone at the local center and the dude's like, well, probably easiest if you just go down there so we just drove down here it's only about a 15 minute drive and um, we were like hey Toby uh, who's our new friend who works here because Jordan's been working with him and he's awesome and we're like hey dude where's the uh, where's the Model S he's like oh it's just being stored on the lift waiting for parts I'm like oh that's awesome so good news the Tesla has been at the Tesla service center inside this entire time not <laughs> outside baking in the sun in a temperature controlled room on a lift all of the weight off the suspension and just waiting for parts basically so the the update is i said is two weeks you know pretty reasonable to expect the car back he said yes so yeah that's that's not bad at all yeah so what we have to do to get that car back in order i need to run to denver with the rivian pick up the martian wheels and tires from drew which we've already He's ordered telling you to turn oh okay well that, that's probably something we should do then <laughs> it gives you cool it graphic turn thing. here but it's not possible yeah. yeah it's doing all this stuff i was just ignoring it um yep yeah. <laughs> whoops going the wrong way um so we got to go get the martian wheels from drew because again two were busted and so we're going to get two new wheels and tires for the car then we are going to drop those off at the tesla then once they fix the suspension, I'm not sure if it's done or if we've decided it has to go to the body shop. I, Jordan doesn't know either. So basically waiting to hear from him, I said, Jordan, like, hey, you gotta, you gotta like, you know, call someone and figure out what, what the plan is once the car is fixed. Suspension wise, are we good to just take it 
or does it have to go in for body work? Because I'd prefer it doesn't. And so we may have to make that determination together. Wow, this is this thing's huge. Oh lord. Wow. Whoa. All right. Wow. And so that's the update on the plat situation, which is we found the car. It's in the shop. And uh, it's clogging up a whole bay in Tesla Loveland. Yeah, that's one thing that kind of surprised me because the guy was like, oh, yeah, we don't have a lot of appointments. Can't clog up a bay. I'm like, oh, but our car's been are... clogging up a bay for the last two <laughs> And you're weeks. not doing anything with it. But yeah, like, just take it off, throw it on the ground. But I guess they don't want to put the weight back on the suspension. They're being responsible. Yeah, they really couldn't be more pleased with, with that whole thing. I would say communication's tough with Tesla, but when you get to the people, they really know what they're doing. Yeah, they know everything that's going on, which is which is fine. But yeah, I don't. <laughs> I just can't imagine my 86 year old grandfather texting a guy about his his car being in service. He'd be, be pretty pissed. Yeah, I think but, so uh, as well. And he does drive a Tesla. Yeah, he does, but he doesn't drive it enough for it to ever go into service. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay. Well, uh, off we go then. Electrify America Station. There's the Model Three update. The Model S Plaid update. The only thing left to do is to show you the status on the local EA charging station. And here we go, pulling into the shopping center where our local Electrify America station is. For those of you who don't know what's going on, um, Electrify America had some pretty crappy infrastructure installed in the ground uh, and they kept failing. And we've told that story a bunch and you guys knew that. And so rather than trying to maintain what they had, a certain supplier, ABB in this case, is being ripped out of the ground, at least locally. Wow, that running light is burnt out on that X7. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Crazy, that's like a brand new car and it's missing one of the running lights. Um, they basically ripped them out of the ground and are now installing BTC dispensers with new hardware. So they basically said, this stuff's crap pull it out and then put new stuff in. Now things are happening over here because I see a person working uh, behind this bush. Yeah, there's someone working. And also there's they're removing the old cabinets. So inside there, if you take a zoom in, Alyssa, you'll see that's the new hardware that's going in. I don't know if that's Signet or BTC. I haven't seen the SK Signet unit chargers yet. Again, all the charging power will be done behind that fence area and then the dispensers will be over here. And so that seems to be the newer stuff. And then this is the old ABB charger, is my opinion, my impression. And so that is what fed the power to these units, which are obviously completely offline at the moment. And so they got cranes going. I'm surprised they're here at 8.14 in the morning. So you can see they're sort of lifting all these ABB charging cabinets out of there with that that forklift situation. And then, um, yeah, so I would say like within an hour or two, they should have all of that removed and maybe they'll even start installing the new stuff. Mm, maybe we'll have to come back later today. Holy smokes, this is really impressive. Um, typically with construction, it takes a really long time, but let's just go through the timeline. Two days ago is when they took the station offline in the evening time. Mm -hmm. You arrived shortly after they did that, unfortunately. But, <laughs> okay, good. We didn't know that our station was getting updated. Then we came by tomorrow afternoon to film a video. Everything had been dropped off and delivered, but no actual work had been done by that point. The station right. was still taken off. Maybe they should have waited a day to turn the power off, but that's okay. Yeah. And then uh, this morning, they're here, 8.15 a.m., cranking away, getting all the stuff going. So, damn. Pretty fast, if you ask me, considering how slow construction normally takes. But that's just day three of the situation. Yeah, yeah. but they have all the units. I mean, I think that's the biggest part is having all the hardware for everything. We think they do, at least. They have three looking dispensers, but there's mm -hmm. four charging ports. So I don't know what's really going on. But not for us to speculate. All we can do is say they're working. We want to be the first ones to charge on them, I don't do you? I do want to be the yeah, first ones to charge. I and I did. told some of the EA guys this, and they're like, maybe you shouldn't be the first one to charge. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I'll be there. Yeah, you, <laughs> you will be there. Yeah. We'll be camping out in the rubble, just waiting. No, we're not, I'm not going to waste that much time for it. But every time I have to drive by here, which is a lot over the next couple of days, I'm just going to pop in, take a look, and see what's going on. Because 
what happens here should set the stage for what's going to happen at hundreds of stations across the country. You think the they're country. still going to have a Chatamo there? Um, it's very possible we will not have a Chatamo anymore. Man, there's going to be a lot of pup set leaf drivers. The only thing that might happen, speculation, is there's only three of those charging dispensers. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll just leave the Chatamo one. Maybe. And then just put three of the new ones in. We'll and have to see. We shall see. We will see. Well, uh, that would be an interesting development if they remove the Chatamo. Yeah, I mean, what's, yeah, and that's a whole nother discussion of what's going on with that Chatamo. It's dying. Why well, support it? But I wouldn't remove existing infrastructure that has it. Right. Because people have grown to, I mean, we see a lot of leaves charging here. Yeah, a lot of professors. A lot of professors. <laughs> that's what happens when you have universities in the area. You get a lot of old 2013 leafs with degraded a lot batteries. Of them. Yep. <laughs> well, there's the update for the morning. I'm going to throw this video up right now, basically. Yep. And uh, we'll Real within time. an hour or so. So bottle three dropped off for service. I'll let you know what happens with that. I would say I can show you the estimate they gave me, which is right here. So loud noise is going to be $100 to diagnose. Windshield cracked, only $1,000 for a new windshield. Charging issue, $195. And then retrofit a harness that was recalled, um, which is a, a recall, so that's free. And... Um, I have to say, $995 for a brand new windshield, I am in. We can crack that sucker every week. The problem is, I went to Safe Light and it, they wanted almost $3,000 for a new windshield. You should call them and see if they would price match. I would just be curious if they would. Okay, then you can call them because when you try and call them, they're like Tesla. You have to go into the app and schedule an appointment and you can't talk to anyone. Uh, that's not my experience, but okay. okay. Well, you, you, I don't really care that much. I just okay. need the car fixed. And um, maybe it was for both windshields. Not really sure. Let's see how the IX handles this in sport mode. So I haven't really ripped this car yet. So sport mode, traction control, backed off a little bit. Let's kind of hustle it through here. Oh God, what was that? <laughs> so ESP integration, a little bit too much coming in. Full brakes, leaning it over. coming out of here. Oh, there's construction workers. We're not going to be flying around with them around. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so power on oversteer, IX M60. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty, see you on another episode soon, probably tomorrow, because I promised updates on this charger. Sounds great. Bye-bye. See ya.